Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is Wednesday, August 28th, the last Wednesday in August. That's right. Fall's just around the corner. We're less than a month away from the start of fall. You ready for that? And uh, wow, Labor Day weekend. So anyway, uh, we'll cover that later on. Anyway, moving on. So welcome. It is Wednesday, Walking Leader Wednesday, where I read from my books. And in this case, I'm still reading from Great to Follow, my second book in the Walking Leader series, The 20 Rules to Becoming a Better Follower and a leader that is great to follow. That's where great to follow comes from. Um, so welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so today I am going to read from rule number six. And as soon as I get there, I'll do it. So last week I talked about getting to know the good old timer, the good uh, old timers, the good veterans, the ones that have been there a while. Get to know the good veterans. There we go. Now, rule number six is watch out for the cranky old timers. So it's the flip side of that rule. Uh, because again, you definitely, you need them. They need to be there. They're there for a reason. But uh, when they get out of control, when they get out of hand, well, then that's when we have problems and that's not a good thing. So that being the case, let's rock and roll. Alrighty, so here we go. Rule number six, watch out for the cranky old timers. And at first glance, it may seem that avoiding the cranky old timers is easy to do, but it is also the most difficult to accomplish. Every organization has at least one, two, or more of the cranky old timers, then that's okay, as every organization needs them. Then again, there are organizations that one cranky old timer is one cranky old timer too many. Too many, excuse me. Therefore, it is very important for anyone, not just followers, but leaders to, as well, to know how to identify them as quickly as possible. Once identified, it, is, it becomes more important to know what to do with them and what not to do with them. Now, don't get me wrong, you do not have to avoid all the cranky old timers, but there are some that have resolved themselves to bring others down no matter what. So please avoid those at all costs. Then again, others seem just to get by until they are forced into a mandatory retirement. It's all about attitude with them, and that is why you have to make your decisions early on as to who they are, identify them, find them, and avoid them or deal with them or however you need to. All right, it is easy to, it has been my experience that cranky old timers are needed and are important and are important to the organization because they bring an unexpected, unique dose well, of reality to the uh, workplace. And what I mean by this is, is sometimes in some workplaces, you definitely need those cranky old timers. I kind of liken them to the um, to the one that, the, that um, well, like the court jesters, you know, to keep the king humble. Um, and, and Julius Caesar, the one that whispered in his ear, thou art a mortal, thou art, you know, morti mortem. Um, again, meaning you're gonna, we all die. You're not immortal, you're not a god. So again, that's who they are. That's some of them. That's not all of them, but that's some of them. Now, I by no means, I am by no means saying you should believe every old cranker, over old cranker, old a cranky old timer brings value to the organization. What I'm trying to say is that, or advocate is that every organization, what I'm trying to say or advocate is every organization should get rid of anyone that is not pulling their own weight, no matter how new or how long they have been with the company. There is no room for growth if there is one bad apple in the bunch. Now, however, a reality is there it will only there will be a few individual individuals that management that management of the organization has recognized as needed and to be let go a long time ago, yet they remain. So what I'm saying here is sometimes there's people that, well, they should have been gone a long time ago, and they they somehow manage to hang around and claw around and and either through threat or blackmail or intimidation or whatever, still find themselves. Uh, I, well, getting a paycheck. Now, these individuals will eventually catch on that either management has not done something to move them to a position that minimizes contact or better still remove them from the company payroll. As a new hire or up or an up and coming rock star in the organization, the sooner you deal with such individuals, the sooner you can skip past them anywhere you may encounter them. Now, the, those old, those cranky old timers that bring value are the ones that have been doing something right over the and over time. For any number of reasons, their attitude just changed. It might be absolutely, they might absolutely love the job they do, but are not happy with the company, the management, the practices, a staff member, or whatever. Yet they keep coming to work and they keep banging out great value by giving their work ethic top priority. That's good. That's a good thing. 
Now, see, not all cranky old timers are bad for the organization. What is bad is their attitude their, and disdain towards the individuals they see as making them behave that way. Well, if it wasn't for so and so, I wouldn't behave this way. Well, you know what? So they usually leave the newcomers relatively alone. However, should you seek them out, be mindful. While it is perfect to seek out all that is good in your organization, be careful. The good ones, the ones that have a beef with management or the leadership, but deliver are the ones that will take a while to get to know and get beyond their suspicion. However, once you get beyond their protective wall and are taken into their confidence, be careful. Careful not to be poisoned by their personal bias. It can happen, but by being aware and on guard, you should do just fine. They're out there. They're out there. Everybody has them. It's You'd be hard pressed to find an organization that's been in business a while that doesn't have at least one cranky old timer. Folks, those cranky old timers are needed. They're there for a reason. If they're producing, they're there for a reason. If they're there to deliver and, and to hold each other and hold people accountable, that's a good thing too, so long as they're producing. But it's the moment they stop producing and just say rest on their laurels because, oh, well, I'm too good. I, they can't fire me. Guess what? When it's time to go. When you start saying they can't fire you is basically the moment you should be on notice. That's the moment. So listen to those. Listen to those individuals. Those are the ones that are heading down the wrong path. And those are the ones that if they take you under their wing, you're going to be the first they're going to cut bait on. They're going to cut ties with you, throw you to let you set you adrift. Good luck. You're on your own. They're going to dis disavow knowing you. They're definitely going to disavow influencing you. They're definitely going to disavow any of the nonsense they put you up to. It is that simple. It does happen. It will happen. It's happened before. It will happen again. So be careful out there. Folks, I'm Dave Gira. This is Walking Leader Wednesday. I read from uh, chapter rule number six. Rule number six from my book, Great to Follow. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow, Thursday. So between now and then, have a great rest of your evening. And I will talk to you tomorrow.